let's start the new topic here autonomic nervous system autonomic nervous system is a control internal body function internal body organs controlled by mostly most or most of organs under control of autonomic nervous system nervous system you see the nervous system division the nervous system divide to central nervous system and peripheral nervous system the central nervous system brain and spinal cord and the peripheral nervous system is a system of nerves system of nerves the nerves are coming out of the brain from brain stem the cranial nerve and nerves directly coming out of spinal cord the spinal nerves and cranial nerves 12 pairs spinal cranial nerve 31 pairs spinal nerves these nerves all nerves together form peripheral nervous system in the peripheral nervous system the nerves what the composition of nerve nerve is formed by bundle of neurons the bundle of neurons together uh, in the nerves the sometimes the bundle of neuron their cell body the cell body collected together that's known as ganglia that's known as ganglia also well, ganglia is a cluster of cell body inside peripheral nervous system inside peripheral nervous system the cluster of cell body what are the types of nerves there the nerves going for somatic system the nerves going for autonomic system the nerve responsible for the organs function and nerves going to the the other whole body the somatic system in our control the somatic system the somatic nervous system the somatic nervous system is maybe further divides a motor category and the sensory somatic system motor somatic system the sensory somatic system the sensory somatic system autonomic nervous system is a motor system is a motor system for the organs is a motor system for organs our the organ our organ inside is not in our control or the basic composition of the organ the mostly organs the hollow organs the cardiovascular system respiratory system reproductive system urinary system urinary system and exocrine gland system exocrine gland system so organ mostly the hollow organs and the hollow organ having the three layer sequence from inside to outside the all hollow organs they having three layer sequence the middle layer middle layer the composition the mostly hollow organ they having smooth muscles and these muscles not in our control the hollow organ cardiovascular system so also heart also having three layer the middle layer muscle the myocardium the cardiac muscles in our body three category of muscles skeletal muscle cardiac muscle and smooth muscles the smooth muscles and cardiac muscle not in our control its mean these are involuntary the cardiac muscle and smooth muscle under control of autonomic nervous system the autonomic nervous system supply the smooth muscle, heart muscle, and exocrine gland. Autonomic nervous system control the activity of smooth muscle, control the activity of cardiac muscle, control the activity of exocrine different gland like sweat gland, lacrimal gland, sweat gland, lacrimal gland, and salivary gland. Autonomic nervous system further divide to sympathetic system and parasympathetic system. The sympathetic system, sympathetic system, sympathetic system control the heart. Parasympathetic system also regulate the heart. The both system they work a bit opposite in direction. Later we talk uh, talk uh, talk about this function in detail. This is just uh, just focus on division. The nervous system, the central nervous system, peripheral nervous system, the peripheral nervous system going for the full body as a somatic system, and only going for the organs, the hollow organs, the mostly hollow organ system 
cardiovascular system, respiratory system, reproductive system, urinary system, and one system also left here, GID, gastrointestinal system. The most system are hollow organ system. It's about division. Okay, now we talk in detail. The nervous system control or oh, it's nervous system the control our body function having storage center in the control system. To collect the information and the external the all from external come from the outside, outside the body, and some information coming from inside the body, analyze and working on it. And our nervous system maintain our body state in the state. It's a homeostasis. What's a homeostasis? Is a maintenance of internal environment to control our body function. All body function, the every system, the certain uh, cardiovascular system, respiratory system, reproductive system, the A system has its own role to maintain the all body function. This all body function maintenance is known as homeostasis. The homeostasis, if we, sep if we separate this word to two partitions here, like homeo, it's a home, is a home. Homeo word is a home. The stasis to maintain the thing. Maintenance of the home, the maintenance of the body function is known as homeostasis. Now, our main focus, our main concern with autonomic nervous system. So, what's that? in this slide, we can see here is the origin. What's the origin of autonomic nervous system? Autonomic nervous system is originated uh, the two divisions, sympathetic system as well as the para parasympathetic system. This side, first we focus on parasympathetic system. The parasympathetic system, also known as craniosacral system, cranio sacral system. The cranial sacral system, why is the cranial sacral? Because the, the cranial nerve, the four cranial nerve, nerve number seven, nerve number nine, nerve number ten, and nerve number, nerve number nine, nerve number ten, this is still nerve number ten, and nerve number, these three, uh, nerve number also here, sorry, it's another nerve here, nerve number three, three, nerve number seven, nerve number nine, and nerve number ten. These three nerve perform the function for perform function for parasympathetic system these nerves in nature they are, they are the parasympathetic nerve and the other nerves that the nerve at the level of sacral segment of spinal cord the sacral segment the astro s3 s4 these nerves coming at the segment astro s3 s4 these three these nerves are pelvic nerves these are the pelvic nerves the pelvic subplanking nerves pelvic subplanking nerves Pelvic subplanking nerve responsible for uh, is for is for the lower organs, the organs present inside the pelvis, the organs present inside the pelvis, the parasympathetic supply to the lower part of the body, the lower part of the organ inside the abdominal cavity and the pelvic cavity. This is the parasympathetic system, the second part. The parasympathetic system is known as cranial sacral system. Why? Because the sacral segment, the three sacral segment and the four cranial nerves. This system together known as cranial sacral system is your parasympathetic system. And the sympathetic, no, move on sympathetic system. The sympathetic system also known as thoracolumbar system. Thoracolumbar system. Thoracolumbar system, why is it known as thoracolumbar? Because the thoracic segment of the spinal cord, the nerves coming out of the thoracic segment also take part in the sympathetic system. And nerves coming out of lumbar segment, the lumbar segment, the L1 and L2 only. This, this system extends from the T10 till L2, T1, T2, T1, T2, T2 T2, 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 till they start from the T1 and finish at the L2. This is a parasympathetic this is a sympathetic system, this is a sympathetic region. Now, what's the difference between sympathetic and parasympathetic system? You can see here clearly what the fibers here. Uh, in the sympathetic autonomic nervous system, we have in ganglia there. We have in ganglia, you, have, you can see here the clear cut ganglion present here. The ganglion present here, the ganglion. This ganglion close to spinal cord. This ganglion is a paravertebral ganglia. This ganglion, all ganglion work for sympathetic system, sympathetic chain of ganglion. And the fiber, the fiber directly come from spinal cord now make a synapse with the ganglia. Now if they make a synapse with ganglia because ganglia are already very close to spinal cord. So these are these fibers, these fibers attached to the ganglia, this fiber known as preganglionic fiber. 
so just before the ganglia and these fiber the fiber going to fiber going to the organs fiber going to organ these are the post ganglionic fiber the post ganglionic fiber is a center we have in ganglia pre ganglionic fiber post ganglionic fiber the difference the anatomical difference of sympathetic and parasympathetic fiber the length of the pre ganglionic fiber and post ganglionic fiber are not same now you focus on parasympathetic what happened here oh it's a for example clean nerve number three Three, clean nerve number three is coming from the midbrain level. Clean nerve number three, you can see so how long here, and this nerve is going. And next we have ganglia. The ganglia here, the very close to the organ. This is a post fiber after the ganglia. This is a pre fiber before the ganglia. The pre ganglionic fiber are lengthy and the post ganglionic fiber are small in the length but here is the opposite the pre ganglionic fiber a bit smaller and the post ganglionic fiber a bit lengthy a bit lengthy a bit lengthy there's a difference the anatomical difference between the fiber the hair, having the two category of fiber the pre ganglionic post ganglionic pre ganglionic post ganglionic that they're just just difference just difference of here the, the length anatomical difference main difference the parasympathetic ganglion the parasympathetic ganglion is a parasympathetic ganglion in our body we having main four here the main four ganglion the parasympathetic ganglion present inside the clean this person four parasympathetic ganglion belongs to uh, parasympathetic ganglion ganglion being present in the cranial part of the clean part of the body present in the head belongs to cranial nerves this parasympathetic ganglion this gang ganglion mostly close to organ the parasympathetic ganglia present mostly close to the organ and the other the sympathetic ganglia you can see sympathetic ganglia much far from the organ so that's why this is the reason that it's far from the organ so that's why the post ganglionic fiber are more lengthy the pre ganglionic fiber are much smaller because the pre ganglia the ganglia the location of ganglia close to the the central nervous system that's why pre ganglionic fiber are much smaller and the post ganglionic fiber in case of parasympathetic system the pre ganglionic fiber are much lengthy because the ganglia more close to the organ the nerve first going to ganglia they make a synapse here then going toward the organ there's a difference between sympathetic and parasympathetic system it's the origin of sympathetic and parasympathetic system the origin, the, the thoracolumbar system, one system, thoracolumbar system, now we summarize it, the cranio system and thoracolumbar system. The parasympathetic system starts from T1 and the finish at the T, uh, T12, after T12 we having L1 and L2 segment. This is the main uh, it's a, it's a extent or extension of the sympathetic system. The parasympathetic system, the three, the four can now involve and three sacral now from sacral plexus, S2, S3 and S4. This system known as cranial sacral system. This is the uh, few differences between sympathetic and parasympathetic system. Now we talk about the neurotransmitter, what neurotransmitter we use inside the uh, autonomic nervous system. Our main concern, we have uh, a lot of excited neurotransmitter, inhibiting neurotransmitter, sometimes neurotransmitter working for both, also work for excitation and also work for inhibition. So now our main purpose here, our, our main concern with autonomic nervous system. In autonomic nervous system, the common neurotransmitter used here, the acetylcholine, in the autonomic nervous system using noradrenaline, autonomic nervous system using dopamine, autonomic nervous system using adrenaline, norepinephrine. We also having epinephrine. The epinephrine also using the uh, autonomic nervous system, but this autonomic this epinephrine is a neurotransmitter. This neurotransmitter, the main concern with adrenal gland is produced by adrenal gland. Okay, we having the neurotransmitter here, the acetylcholine. Acetylcholine, epinephrine, no epinephrine, and no adrenaline, and dopamine. These are the main neurotransmitter used inside autonomic nervous system. The other neurotransmitter are also present, but they have more concern with central nervous system. These neurotransmitters mostly were used inside the central nervous system. Our main concern with acetylcholine, norepinephrine, epinephrine, and dopamine. These are the main four categories of neurotransmitter we use inside the autonomic nervous system. 
So autonomic nervous system, autonomic nervous system, well, I will explain. Autonomic nervous system controls smooth muscle, autonomic nervous system control your body gland, autonomic nervous system control heart muscle, the heart muscle, smooth muscle and the gland. The visera, innervate the visera, visera are the mostly hollow visera, so that's why the heart having heart muscle, the all other organs, the hollow organs, they have middle layer smooth muscle and the glands are mostly exocrine gland. The all these three, three things they receive afferent fibers. The afferent neuron mean motor neuron. The motor neuron coming from autonomic nervous system, sympathetic system, as well as parasympathetic system. The first the neuron, the first the neuron going to ganglia. The ganglia present between the central nervous system and the effector innervation by the autonomic nervous system. Or the classification of the fiber, the fiber present inside, the fiber present in the autonomic nervous system, the sympathetic system as well as parasympathetic system. The, the main uh, parasymp uh, one thing, the few fibers that are using acetylcholine at the terminal, and the other fibers that are using norepinephrine at the terminal. In autonomic nervous system, autonomic nervous system, one system is parasympathetic system, second system is sympathetic system. The fiber, the mostly the fiber of parasympathetic system. They have more concern with the choline. Oh, this fiber also known as choline, choline fiber. It's a cholinergic fiber. Choline fiber. It's a cholinergic fiber. These are the cholinergic fiber. This cholinergic fiber they use acetylcholine. They are using acetylcholine. And the sympathetic system. The sympathetic system. They have more concern with norepinephrine. They are using adrenaline. And this fiber known as adrenergic fiber. Adrenergic fiber. Adrenergic fibers and cholinergic fiber. Cholinergic fiber using acetylcholine, adrenergic fiber using norepinephrine and epinephrine. And norepinephrine basically produced by adrenergic fibers, epinephrine not produced by neuron. Must keep in mind must keep this mind keep in mind the epinephrine not produced by the nerve terminal. Epinephrine was produced by adenomedulla. Adenal medulla. Origin, I'll explain the origin of parasympathetic of uh, parasympathetic system, the cranial nerve number third, cranial nerve number seven, cranial nerve number nine, and cranial nerve number ten. The parasympathetic system having the four ganglion present in the cranium inside cranium. The cranial nerve number three, the having ciliary ganglia is connected to cranial nerve number three. The ciliary ganglia to control the pupil size, the parasympathetic supply going to the eye to control the pupil size and also control the ecosystem production. Another ganglia, the seven nerve is connected to the ganglia, the one pterygopalatine ganglia, as well as the submaxillary ganglia. Some some mandible uh, is supply. The pterygopalatine ganglia, some maxillary, some some maxillary ganglia, ganglia it's, it's for lacrimal system and cellular gland. The seven nerve control lacrimation and seven nerve also control lacrimation. Seven nerve also control the salivation. The seven number nerve the nine of my nerve is, is attached to otic ganglia and is having otic ganglia the otic ganglia four two ganglia connected to seven number nerve and the ganglion number one ganglia present inside the orbit is a ciliary ganglia for eye pterygopalatine ganglia some maxillary ganglia these two ganglia for salivatory gland and lacrimal gland of the eye and the OT ganglia is also for salivatory gland, it's, it's connected to the pyrotid gland, it's connected to glossopharyngeal nerve number 9. It's a nerve number 9. It's the origin of parasympathetic system along with this ganglia. And then number nerve is the longest nerve, so vagus nerve supply, will apply the structure present in laryngeal area, neck area, and then going to thorax, and then also going to abdomen supply the visera also. The sec second, uh, the second part is the all this part as the cranial part of the parasympathetic system. This part is the sacral part. This part is the cranial, cranial part. The cranial nerves here. The sacral part having the S2, S3, and S4. These three nerve help for of genitalia, rectum, rectum, bladder, genitalia. The last part of colon, external genitalia, the parasympathetic supply. The parasympathetic supply done by the sacral nerves, S2, S3, and S4. This is the origin of parasympathetic system. 
what are the ganglion present inside autonomic nervous system so but that autonomic nervous system have ganglia sensory system having ganglia but the motor system have no ganglia the motor system for the organ is autonomic nervous system also known as is a motor system for the organs for the internal organs having ganglia autonomic nervous system have ganglia so these are the preganglionic fiber and is a well done this the post ganglionic fibers the preganglionic fiber the preganglionic fiber the post ganglionic fiber their length you usually can see in the length difference the big difference in the length in ganglionic fibers the function of autonomic nervous system to control all body organs, internal organs, internal organ system uh, is control your home or uh, control homeostasis within the body, make it make the balance inside the body. What's the generalized function? How can I give a brief view for the function of autonomic nervous system? Autonomic nervous system basically control internal organs. For example, the internal organs, autonomic nervous system play a role to control the constrict the vessel, dilate the vessel, increase the heart rate, decrease the heart rate as control control CVS system. Control CVS system. The autonomic nervous system also control respiratory system, control the airways, constriction of the airways, dilation of the airways. Autonomic nervous system control, also control respiratory system. Autonomic nervous system, the other part, autonomic nervous system control digestion, control respiration, also control perspiration is evaporation or sweating, sweating is sweat gland also under control autonomic nervous system and dilation of vas the constriction, dilation of the pupil, the eye, the function of the eye is also under control of autonomic nervous system, GIT under control of autonomic nervous system. In the bowel we have the contraction, relaxation of the wall of the intestine and, and, uh, and relaxation and constriction of the sphincter. And uh, another function in the male genitalia, erection and ejaculation also done by autonomic nervous system, the sympathetic system, sympathetic system for ejaculation and parasympathetic system for erection. These are, these are a little bit summary of autonomic nervous system. Now I move on the basic part of pharmacology here. Uh, before I going to the pharmacology, of autonomic nervous system. I first I give a little short view what the fiber we use here. Uh, autonomic pharmacology we discuss in the next video. The cholinergic fibers and adrenergic fiber. These fiber belong to parasympathetic system and these fiber belong to sympathetic system. The cholinergic fiber, the cholinergic fiber, the all preganglionic fiber and the postganglionic fiber in case of parasympathetic system, the pre and the post pre plus post ganglionic fiber in parasympathetic system these are the cholinergic fiber it's mean the both fiber in parasympathetic system using acetylcholine and in sympathetic system sympathetic system the pre fiber pre fiber are cholinergic plus the post fiber the post post ganglionic fiber these are the adrenergic fiber the preganglionic fiber in sympathetic system acetylcholine using acetylcholine because cholinergic fiber and the post fiber they're using uh, using norepinephrine so known as adrenergic fibers this is about introduction of autonomic nervous system next i will first continue with the receptor uh, what are the receptor present in autonomic nervous system the sympathetic system receptor parasympathetic system receptor how these receptor working then i will continue for the drugs of autonomic nervous system this about uh, this all about the summary of this video